Hi. This video is brought to you by Deadpool being awesome. Now, the one thing that I need to tell you about this is that this fine fellow here is going to be starting a Patreon really soon. That way he could go and watch terrible movies that don't involve me and maybe Ryan Reynolds in a green costume that looks terrible. So, stay tuned and probably go support him on Patreon because you're awesome like that. Yeah. Wait out. <laughs>
and became kind of the beloved figure everyone has today. So now there's a brand new movie coming out. Yeah, starring Ryan Reynolds. I'm really excited for it. I'm happy. I want to say this first. I'm ecstatic that the Deadpool movie is getting an R rating. This means that Deadpool can be just as psychotically violent as the comic is. Because here's the thing. Deadpool is pretty much a sociopath. In order to tell most of his better stories, you need to have a degree of violence that you can't get away with in a PG-13 movie. That said, I'm a little bit worried about this too. Doing an R-rated movie for Deadpool, that's great. I'm glad that that's going to be a thing. But if we start doing R-rated movies for every character, that could be really bad. See, for Deadpool it works. Not because I want to hear him cursing a lot. Because honestly, in the comics, it's a, I can't. It's a plot point that he can't actually say the F word. He is fully aware of the fact that he is in a comic, and every time he tries to, little squiggles and stuff come out in place of where a curse word would be. So, no, that's not really part of the character. Though I guess him wanting to say it is part of the character. The violence is part of the character. That makes Deadpool part of what he is. He's crazy. He's violent. He's all over the place. But I don't necessarily want that for other superhero movies. I love the X-Men movies. I am I think that Br Brian Singer is a trash human being, but I love those movies. I w am looking forward to seeing what comes next with the X-Men. I've been watching those movies since I was 12 years old, and I want another generation to be able to watch them if they are that age. See, while everyone's getting excited about the fact that Deadpool is rated R, and I am too, I'm going to be really bummed out if superhero movies in general stop being accessible for younger viewers. Because more children need to like Captain America. Because here's the thing, if we start scaring off the young people, if we start scaring off the people who want to get into comics, but aren't old enough to... Who are going to be the people to replace us as we get older? And while we're talking about the X-Men, that's the other thing that I'm a little nervous about with this movie. Most of my favorite Deadpool stories feature characters like Taskmaster and Bob, Agent of Hydra. Characters who can't show up in the Deadpool movie because those characters are film rights are owned by Marvel Entertainment. I and really like Tasky. And this movie is being produced by Fox. It's part of the X-Men franchise. So while it'll be great to see some of the X-Men characters, including Colossus, showing up in this movie, I'm really sad that a bunch of my favorite Deadpool stories can't get adapted to film. What a bummer! Hey, hey, what does the fox say? That they can't play with Marvel. Precisely. Once again, I love Deadpool. I love his comics. I love, I love buying toys of him and his supporting cast. I want, I want this to be a really good movie, and I'm excited for this movie. You know, there's a place for R-rated superheroes. This is it. Let's just hope this doesn't become a trend with everything else in the X-Men. I'm Nick Izumi. Those are just a couple of my thoughts. You want me to turn it off now? Just a second. Keep on sparking. With the, the Deadpool. Deadpool.